law of vectors. In the parallelogram law of vectors under the addition of vectors by either end vectors on the if they are inclined at an angle. If there are two laws to find out the resultant of these two vectors when they are inclined at an angle. So vector P vector Q render angle in the theta. This is vector P. If just you produce it back, this vector Q and vector P, they will intersect at a point and you join these two. This length or this diagonal gives you the resultant of these two vectors. Since these two vectors are representing the two sides of the parallelogram, we are going to use this parallelogram law to find out the resultant of these two vectors. How to find out? We will see that first. Now, we will just measure the length. In the length OA, it is nothing but the vector P. And this length OB is equal to your OBO. This AC are both are same. So, OB is equal to AC is equal to vector Q. OA is vector P. OB is equal to vector Q. OBO, ACO length one other. Then here, this angle, we are taking it as alpha. Alpha is nothing but the angle between the resultant and one of the vectors and this angle I am taking it as t but I don't know what is this length ad and this length cd we are going to find out this length ad and cd by taking this triangle acd and this triangle acd what is sin theta sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse what is the opposite side here cd by ac cd by ac from this what is cd CD is equal to AC sin theta. Here what is AC? Q. So the length CD is equal to Q sin theta. First you do this. This is the first length. length measure. Then the same triangle ACD. Can you find out what is cos theta? Cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. This is the adjacent side. So AD by AC. Now what do you have? I want to find out AD. From this AD is equal to AC cos theta. What is this AC here? AC is nothing but your Q. So AD is equal to Q cos theta. So we will measure it. What is our work? I want to find out this resultant R. And then the length OC I measure. So to find out this length OC, I will take this full triangle OCD. So from this triangle OCD, I want to calculate only this hypotenuse. Apo OC square is equal to Pythagoras theorem is pannu. OD square plus CD square. Ilia? OC square is equal to OD square plus CD square. And in the OD square is nothing but OA plus AD. So I can write this as OA plus AD in the whole square plus CD square. Now, then you have to expand a plus b the whole square form expand I can write this as a square that is o a square plus a d square plus 2 o a into a d plus c d square. Now here this is your o c square o c square is nothing but your resultant r. Now you take this triangle a c d from this triangle a c d what is this AC square hypotenuse AC square is equal to AD square plus CD square I can write this AC square as AD square plus CD square see in the previous equation la AD square irukka CD square irukka so adha rendathiya replace panni can I write AC square in the equation la simplify panni irukkom AD square ho, CD square ku badala enna eludalam AC square eludalama so I can write this equation as OA square plus AD square. AD square plus CD square plus AC square plus 2 into OA into AD. So this is your resultant. In the Kaprama, what is OA here? Vector P. OA is clear. P square. When OA is nothing but the length vector P. Then AC is equal to vector Q. So plus Q square plus 2 OA is again vector P AD is equal to Q cos theta so T 2 P Q cos theta if I want to find out R R square is R when take the square root of this 
So R is equal to root of square root of P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta gives you the resultant of these two vectors. So resultant R can be charge. Then I want to find out at what angle this resultant acts with the vector P. That is alpha can be charge. To find out this resultant of these two vectors, we have done this derivation. And I will find out the angle of this resultant with the vector P. So to find out that, I will take the tan alpha. Tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side in this triangle OCD. In this triangle OCD, I will find out what is tan alpha. Tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is the CD by OD. But we know that OD is equal to OD is equal to OA plus AD. Upper OD equal to OA plus AD. In the what is CD, what is OA, what is AD, that we are going to substitute. Already we have CD in the path. This is the path number. Cos theta sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. CD is equal to AC sin theta. AC into the one area Q. CD is equal to Q sin theta. So, after we substitute pannama, CD is equal to now Q sin theta by OA into the P plus AD is your Q cos theta. So, P plus Q cos theta. So, this gives you the angle. Appa tan alpha na the alpha vinunna alpha is equal to tan inverse of this value. So, we have calculated the resultant and the angle for the resultant with the vector P. So, in given the inclined iron. If this is the case, we have calculated how to find out the result. Illa, if we have some special cases, we will calculate the result of the angle or the opposite direction or if they are at right angles to each other. One by one, we are going to see how to find out the result and the angle when they are traveling in the same direction. First one, if these two vectors are traveling in the same direction, the two vectors one direction travel panitka. There are two vectors, one vector gal, one the same sail padadal. So there are two vectors, they are traveling in the same direction, vector P and vector Q. The render vector one direction travel panamodu, the resultant matto angalviko R is equal to root of P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta. Alpha is equal to, or you just write simply tan alpha is equal to Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. So, this is the derivation we have seen in this parallelogram law of vectors. Now, we are going for the special cases. So, these two vectors, the two vectors, the two vectors are one the same sail. The angle is the same as the angle. Theta is equal to 0 degree. Theta is 0, sin 0 is 0. Cos 0, 1. Yes, sin 0, cos 0. Park, no. In the render formula, sin is equal to cos. Now, the render vector is equal to the same sale. That is the same angle. This is the same direction. But theta is 0. Theta is 0, sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. But what happens to this R? R is equal to the same as 0. Cos 0 is equal to 1. Then what happens to this resultant? P square plus Q square plus 2P Q cos theta. So, this is the Cos 0 is 1. So, this is of the form a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, I can write this as a plus b the whole square. a b is p plus q. Square root. Square root is the root. Square root is the square root. So, I will be getting simply p plus q. So, r is equal to p plus q. This is the number first step. When the two vectors are traveling in the same direction, just you add those two vectors. This gives you the resultant of the two vectors. Then, how to find out the angle tan alpha? Tan alpha is equal to Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. Sin 0 in the chinga 0. So in the numerator 0, I am going sin 0 to 0 pota 0 by P plus Q. Q in the chinga 1. Cos theta is 1 after P plus Q. 0 by anything is 0. So this angle will be 0. That is, there will be no result at all. Result at all, angle So when the two vectors are traveling in the same direction. 
second one when they are traveling in the opposite direction rendume opposite direction travel pannunga what happens to this theta ipa rendu vector gal iru vector gal ondru kondru edirana desail seyalpadudal ondru kondru edirana desail seyalpadumbodhu theta enna agum 180 degree oru vector ipdi irukku unnar vector ipdi travel pannudhu so both are traveling in opposite direction cos 180 is minus 1 sin 180 is 0 அப்படியே சப்ஸ்டிட் பண்ண ஆர் க ஆர் will become p square plus q square minus 2p q so this will become p square plus q square minus 2p q see ya ena id cos 180 thana ipa theta ena adichu 180 appa cos 180 is minus 1 here it will become minus 2p q this is of the form a square plus b square minus 2 ab so i can write this as r equal to p minus q ஏன் பி மைனஸ் கியூ வரும் பி மைனஸ் கியூ த ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் வரும் ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் எடுத்து தான் போயிடும் பி மைனஸ் கியூ த ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் ஸோ இஃப் ஐ டேக் த ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் கியூ ஸ்கொயர் போயிட்டு ஐ வில் பி கெட்டிங் ஒன்லி பி மைனஸ் கியூ என் வாட் அப்பஸ்ட் டு திஸ் ஆங்கிள் டேன் ஆல்ஃபா டேன் ஆல்ஃபா இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு கியூ சைன் டீட்டா பை பி பிளஸ் கியூ காஸ் டீட்டா அகெயின் திஸ் சைன் இஸ் பிகமிங் ஜீரோ அப்போ ஜீரோ பை எனி திங் இஸ் ஜீரோ ஸோ தேர் வில் பி நோ ஆங்கிள் பிட்வீன் தீஸ் டூ வெக்டர்ஸ் இன் தேர் டிராவலிங் த ஆப்போசிட் டைரக்ஷன் இப்ப ரெண்டு பாத்துறோம் சேம் டைரக்ஷன் பார்த்தாச்சு எதிரான திசையில் செயல்படும் போது என்னன்னு பார்த்தாச்சு இந்த ரெண்டு வெக்டாரும் இப்ப ரெண்டு வெக்டார்களும் செங்குத்தாக செயல்படும் போது வாட் ஆப்பஸ் டு திஸ் டீட்டா டீட்டா வில் பிகம் நைன்டி டிகிரி இஃப் டீட்டா இஸ் நைன்டி சைன் நைன்டி இயர்ஸ் ஒன் then cos 90 is 0 so how to find out the result in r r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta so 2 pq cos theta is 0 now so it will become root of p square plus q square so the result then will be this then what happens to tan alpha tan alpha is equal to q sin theta by p plus q cos theta q sin theta enna adichu sin t 90 will become 1 by p plus q cos theta p cos theta is will become 0 ena cos 90 is 0 appo q into 0 will become 0 i will be having only p so alpha tan alpha is equal to q by p so if these two vectors are acting at right angles to each other theta is 90 degree appo this will be the result then and this will be the angle between these two vectors ஸோ மூணு ஸ்பெஷல் கேசஸ் பார்த்துட்டோம் ரெண்டுமே ஒரே திசையில இருந்தா எப்படி எதிரான திசையில் செயல்படும் போது எப்படி இருக்கும் தென் செங்குத்தாக செயல்படும் போது ரிசல்ட் ஆல்பா ஆங்கிள் எப்படி இருக்கும் பார்த்தோம்